Hi, my name is Jim Byrne, Principal Systems Engineer for Data Pivot Technologies. Today I'd like to go over converting a VM running on Zen Server and bringing it in to a cropless hypervisor via an NFS mount. So let's get started. Here I have a CentOS 6 VM and I've called this my Acropolis Hypervisor Test, and this is the VM we'll be moving in. And nothing special about this VM except for that it is running over on a NFS mount to Nutanix. Now, if you're familiar with Nutanix Acropolis Hypervisor, you know that you can create a storage container, which I'll be showing you in a minute. And you can share that out to either VMware, or in this case, I'm sharing it over to Zen Server. And what I did was I initially had created this CentOS 6 VM on local storage, and then I shut it down and I just migrated it in here. And you can see I've powered this up. It's actually running inside of here. So if I go back to my CentOS machine, you can see it's, it's up and running. I booted it just a second ago and there it is, it's running. So let's go over to the Nutanix side of the house. And let's get logged back in here. Okay, and this is coming up. And first thing I want to show you is I'm going to go into the storage and show you what this looks like. You'll notice over in Zen Server you saw a something called SC1, and here it is over in the Nutanix side. There's just a storage container called SC1, and right now that VM is living in here. Now you're asking yourself, how did I get the VM imported and get this thing running over Nutanix? Well, the first step is we're going to use their image configuration utility. And Nutanix has a way of importing disks from other virtual machines. And what's nice is you can import one of these and you can create uh, new disks in the, in the VM. You can use this over and over and over again. So you can see the disk I brought in already. And I've done this ahead of time. It took about 10 minutes to import this because it's kind of, kind of a big VM. But let me just show you how the process looks. It's actually quite, quite simple give it a quick name here and the image type is disk it's over on storage container one and I'm going to upload from a file now watch when I go in here see up here at storage container one that's the UID of the um, VM over in Zen server that's where that comes from and this is the disk right here and I created this this morning for uh, importing it for this video and that's that I've already done this I've already imported this so you would literally just click open and there it is there and at this point I would click save but I'm not doing that because I've already done it <laughs> so again when you're when you're done and I go in here to my image configuration that's what you'll end up with it'll say disk now the next step let's create a VM so let's head over to the uh, VM area here table and you can see there's nothing here yet so let's create a VM and I'll call this um, sent OS 6 a HV dash test and I'm going to just give it a single CPU and give it four gigs memory is plenty scroll down here a little bit now we're going to add a disk this is where this image comes in into play and here, I'm going to clone from an image service, which is over here in Nutanix. And there's our friend right there. That's it. Hit add. And I could add a network card here if I wanted to, but I'm not going to for this testing. And it'll go over and grab the image. The reason why I use these images is they clone extremely fast done now I'm going to power this up and I'm going to show you a little area that you've run into and it's, it's really easy to fix but let me just show you what this looks like I'm going to launch a console and it's black right now to show you this error um, let me reset this it's just a minor boot parameter you have to fix so you go like this, you go to boot, and you think, great, it's going to boot right up. Here it comes. 
and then you go here and you just sit and wait and wait and wait and you, you think it's hung <clears throat> but this is actually an easy fix all it's doing is it's looking for the wrong uh, video adapter so what you can do is reset this again submit it <clears throat> this time I'm gonna hit escape so I can go into grub and there we go and I'm gonna hit E for edit and on the second line here hit and I can edit that and hit E again and this is a very long line so you're all the way over on the right hand side so we got to just hold the arrow here and go to the left so I can get to the parameter I'm looking for and I'm looking for the word console and there it is and that this console pertains to Zen server it's not over here in Acropolis so you just put you right in a bad place with that black screen so let me get rid of that and then we'll hit return and now I hit B for boot and it just takes a second here to boot up I'm gonna hit the escape key so that you can see all the stuff loading and it doesn't take long to boot And there you have it, <clears throat> you're booted. So just change that one little thing. If you get that black screen, when you bring your VM over, that's all you have to change, and then it'll come come right up. Okay, that's it. That's uh, basically what I wanted to show you is just the steps and how easy it is to move from Zen Server over to Nutanix and make that one little little fix if you have trouble booting. All right, thank you.